awkward setup today because our couch is super wet because we spilled lentil water on it and um, and we're losing light right now but I really wanted to film this today um, so I've decided uh, for the Gone Green 2016 series instead of trying to do roundup posts um, to just try and do one vlog per vlog so that um, they're a lot shorter instead of being like 30 45 minutes they'll be hopefully like 5 to 10 I'm gonna try um, so one of the subjects that I hadn't really thought about um, talking about is gum. I stopped eating gum about five years ago because I was getting st stomach aches from them. Um, but my friend uh, and fellow blogger, The Ethical Unicorn, wrote a piece on it and she let me share it on my blog um, so that I could share with you and then I thought I'd just do a blog post about it too. Um, so basically like gum has been around uh, since the Mayans, they used to chill, they used to chill? Mm -hmm. They used to chew um, this uh, stuff called chicle, and I think people in South America still do, and it comes from the uh, sapodilla tree. And then in the Greeks, they used to chew uh, mistache, which comes from the mystic tree. So gum has been around, and it's not really the issue of chewing gum and spitting it out. That's the problem is that we've added um, a synthetic rubber to it called polyisobutylene, which I might be pronouncing completely wrong. Um, and weirdly, like most of the big gum brands that uh, we know are owned by Goodyear, which are the people who make tires for your car. So I don't know if that gives you the heebie-jeebies, but uh, it definitely does for me. Um, there are a couple of issues on top of the fact that it doesn't biodegrade. Um, obviously, we can't digest gum and neither can any other living creature on this planet. So it means that a lot of times, even if you've been responsible and put your gum in the garbage can, um, birds in landfills will pick it up and eat it as food and they end up dying from the toxins that are secreted from the gum and, and, and they're also unable to digest it. Um, so on a cruelty level, that's not cool. Um, there's also like the, just the issue of litter. So I'm sure anyone who's lived in a big city or any city at all has noticed like all the gum that's on the ground. And gum is resistant to the chemicals, resistant to the chemicals that um, the street cleaners use to clean up the streets, and it's also resistant to the changes in, in the weather. So it doesn't disappear unless it's scraped off. Um, the UK alone spends ten million dollars per year on cleaning up gum from the streets, which is pretty insane considering that. They uh, apparently don't have enough money to run their NHS and apparently don't have enough money to help refugees. Um, so I'm pretty sure they could probably find a better way to spend that money, especially if we as consumers change the way that we use our products. Um, so there are solutions um, for, for us to consider. Um, there is a brand called Gumdrop and their gum is not biodegradable, but they do offer like a recycling program. So they give you this little container and you chew your gum and you put it in the container and then you can send it back to them and they use it to turn it into like bins and various other things. Um, and then there's another brand called Chixa, which is 100% natural, it's biodegradable, um, it's sustainably harvested in South America using fair trade practices, um, and it's organic as well. So it's basically like the gum of any eco or zero waste person's dreams. Um, on top of that, there's also the option of just um, ch chewing on like uh, herbs and spices. So mint and cardamom seeds, uh, or cardamom pods, sorry, fennel seeds and um, cloves all work as um, options for breath freshening delights. Um, I've linked in below the blog post, which goes with this blog post if you want to read more. Um, I've also linked in the Ethical Unicorns uh, website because she's got some great posts and is on her own very similar sort of sustainability um, journey to me. If you're interested in reading any of the other 365 Days of Going Green um, series that I've written, you can uh, check out my blog, uh, which I've linked in below. If you like this video, you can subscribe. I don't know where you press the button, somewhere over there. Uh, and uh, if you're if you liked it as well, you can give it a thumb up, thumbs up. Um, I'm gonna follow this post up with a few others that I did this week. But um, let me know if you have any feedback or any questions, or if you know of any um, gum brands that are organic, biodegradable, fair trade, and uh, delicious. I don't know. 
because I'd love to know um, if there are more available. The Chicksa gum, which is the one I highly recommend, is available at Waitrose in the UK, and then it's also available online worldwide. I believe it's also sold at Whole Foods in North America, so check it out next time you're um, shopping for stuff and things. Um, anyway, I hope you have a beautiful day, and I will see you soon.